And schools all across the state are coming up with really creative ideas to see the eclipse. But District U46 in Elgin has a unique advantage because they have a planetarium of their own. NBC5's Sandra Torres gives us a look. These first graders are jumping for joy as they arrive to the U46 planetarium in Elgin for a field trip. A unique opportunity to learn more about the universe and, of course, about the solar eclipse. This is my first time here, so I'm really, really excited. There's a giant screen. District U46 has been preparing their students for this unique phenomenon for weeks with hands-on activities. We're not going to start with the moon. We're actually going to start by talking about the eclipse. And field trips just like this one. The excitement's been building for years. We've got tens of thousands of permission slips signed. We've got thousands of teachers that took the training and are prepared to take their students outside. Peggy Hernandez has been the planetarium teacher at Elgin District U46 for more than 15 years. Those solar eclipse is taking place as she's about to retire. I think this is my Super Bowl. I think this is the culmination of, of a career of working in, with t children and then 15 years of working in the planetarium with astronomy. And I absolutely think that this will get um, students, children, adults, everyone more interested in space. And of course, more interest in this planetarium, which has been in Elgin since 1963. This was a dust cover. Dust is the enemy of a telescope. Officially a part of the National Register of Historic Places, its Meridian Transit Telescope has been there since 1909. We can fit 50 students at a time. And since then, almost continuously, every single school year, every single school day, students have come in for a lesson on astronomy. And on Monday, teachers are going to be handing out these protective glasses to make sure that once the students go outside, they can watch the partial eclipse safely. Reporting from Elgin, Sandra Torres, NBC5 News. Our thanks to Sandra. And you may be inclined to take pictures of the eclipse. Don't we all want to do it? So if you do, here are some tips to keep yourself safe and to get the best shots. Protect your eyes and your phone. Put safety glasses over the lens to protect it. And don't zoom in. Steady your camera on your phone and then capture the big moment. I, and you can get ready for Monday's event tonight. Join us 6.30 for special coverage. NBC Chicago Chief Meteorologist Brant Miller and Telemundo Chicago Meteorologist Maricela Vasquez talk about what to expect with this total eclipse, why this is so rare, and what Chicagoans will experience. You can watch on our streaming channel on Peacock, Roku, Samsung TV, or wherever you stream, including NBC chicago.com